Todd and Julie Chrisley are confronting a claim from behind bars. Their son, Grayson Chrisley, is being charged of causing a car mishap by being careless. As his gatekeeper, Savannah Chrisley is being sued. Since Todd and Julie's car was included, they are included within the claim as well. Keep perusing to discover out the points of interest of this modern legitimate fight. Family gets sued over Grayson Chrisley's wreck. Unfortunately, Todd and Julie Chrisley are included in more lawful fights due to Grayson's wreck. The offended party, Patrick Greekwalder, has recorded a claim against Todd, Julie, and Savannah Chrisley. Agreeing to the records recorded, the missions took put over a year prior on November 12, 2022. Savannah is recorded on the court printed material since she is Grayson Chrisley's legitimate gatekeeper, whereas her guardians are in jail. So also, Todd and Julie are specified on the printed material, since they possessed the vehicle Grayson was driving. Patrick Rickwalder says that he was driving his 2020 Evade Slam on the interstate in Tennessee when the mishap occurred. Grayson Chrisley was driving behind him and Rickwalder claims that he smashed into his seized vehicle without any caution. Suddenly and without caution litigant, Grayson M. Chrisley carelessly and neglectfully pummeled his vehicle into the rear end of offended party. Patrick S. Rickwalder's engine vehicle at a tall rate of speed, the claim peruses. Also, Rickwalder claims that Grayson was a distracted driver. He says that the Chrisley knows best star was not paying consideration to the roadway within the minutes instantly going before the ray's effect with the offended party, Patrick S. Rickwalder's halted vehicle. On beat of that, the suit states that Grayson Chrysley failed to act suitably beneath the circumstances. Rick Walter's claim states that he dismissed to preserve a secure driving separate from other cars, was speeding, and was occupied by gadgets inside the car. Had respondent, Grayson M. Chrysley, been paying attention to the roadway, before him this crash would not have occurred, the claim concluded. Presently, Patrick Rickwalder is requesting harms between $25,000 and $750,000, as well as reformatory harms. Fans weigh in on the coordinations of the claim. A Reddit user as of late shared the subtle elements of the claim on a Chrisley related subreddit. Fans were fast to chime in with their contemplations on the occurrence. I think individuals and their claims are past silly. It happened a wearer's back, and they are fair presently suing. You can't see it somebody the off-base way without somebody recording a claim. This world we live in could be a pitiful place, one individual composed. Another claimed that the individual was fair after cash, because of who they are. They continued, I do not know in case he can sue Savannah, cause at the time of the mishap, his guardian still had guardianship. This fair shouts a scam. A third individual pointed out, note to everybody, it is the protections company who pays. This can be what you are doing once you are hit by a car and have injuries. It isn't clear how the Chrisley family will bargain with this claim, but it is accepted it'll likely be managed with out-of-court. 